Disclaimer, my video is intended only for entertainment purposes and in all content in this video is found on the public domain. This video is protected under the International Fair Use Act and contains my own thoughts and opinions. Absolutely nothing in it is necessarily true. Hello, so this man here, his name is George and he is from Ireland. He has a YouTube channel called George from Ireland. It is a very informative one. He talks uh, a lot about uh, places of historical significance. Once in a blue moon, he will talk about Megan, but only as how she pertains to whatever historical context he is discussing at that moment. Um, so um, if you want to learn something, his channel is a nice place to go to. However, today in this video, he shares a bit of his background and how it relates to Misha Nonu. He um, went to boarding school with his, uh, with her ex, excuse me, <laughs> with her ex-husband. Um, they shared the same house. Um, now, understand when I say house or when George refers to house, he means dorm. Um, it's usually what they call them um, in boarding schools in England. It's a house. So, um, let's watch this. Salutations, respected viewers. It's uh, George from Ireland here. So, this video is about uh, Meghan Markle and her best friend, Misha Nonu. I hope I pronounced that surname correctly, Nonu. Um, because Misha Nonu's been in the media a lot recently because she's just got married to uh, Mikey Hess. Um, so who is uh, Misha Nonu when she's at home? Well, if I got it right, she is 37, and she was born in Bahrain to an Iraqi father and a British mother, and uh, almost uniquely for people living in Bahrain, well, she's Jewish on her father's side, there has always been, but they tend to be quite discreet about it. Anyway, so um, Misha Nonu, she uh, moved to the United Kingdom when she was a teenager, went to school in Guildford, which is just outside London, and um, then she went on to study fashion design, art, if I got that right. Um, so that's that. So what sort of person is she? Superficial, image-obsessed, it goes with the territory. Um, she certainly well turned out. Um, uh, materialistic, vain, success. But these other things are just the flip side of the other depending if you want to be positive or negative about it. Um, so uh, very slim into a physical fitness, quite into wokeness and new age nonsense, speaks in uh, cliches, packs them in. Um, yeah, she took, she, I think, is she ungrammatical? She did. And she's making, for friend, making clothes that her friends could shop, meaning that, she, that they could buy them. But I don't know this is a new thing, people in the fashion industry saying, I can shop that, you know, I can buy that and on and on. So, uh, yeah, she lived in New York um, for most of her adult life. And um, then she hooked up with another uh, British resident of New York, um, uh, Alex Jilts. Now, uh, I had the great misfortune to know Alex Jilts very well because he was in my house at school. I can't decide if it's grabbing Misha, Smegan or both. Well, probably this is the connection between them. I, I know the way you said Smegan, not Megan, because is that an allusion to Smegma? Smegma, it's um, the substance that gets stuck under the prepuce if you have one, boys. The circumcised amongst you will not. Perhaps I've given something about my own status. Um, you may have seen Red Dwarf, that British comedy series from the 90s set on a, on a, on a spaceship, millennia into the future, and they're all saying smeg, and some people didn't know what it was. Anyway, so Misha um, Nonu, uh, living in New York, um, Alex Jokes, and they married in 2012, and he's really cut from the same cloth as her. So uh, Jox, his um, father was a fascia maxillary surgeon. His mother was a French teacher, a graduate of Oxford University. So um, his parents, they had children quite late in life, like in their 40s. And Jox got one brother who's four years younger than him, if I got that right. William, who's a nightclub promoter. What else about Alex Jox? So he was rejected by Oxford University. He went to the University of Edinburgh, if I got that right. It was at Bristol. Anyway, one of them, reading French and Spanish. And Jox is a complete social climber and a shameless arse licker. If he thinks you're his social superior, he will be um, the most abject toady. But if he thinks someone's unpopular, if he thinks that kudos will accrue to him, 
by mistreating that person, he will he will publicly humiliate them. I remember the boys from let's say Japan or India came to our house temporarily, just be there for like one one uh, one term. And the Japanese boys didn't speak English very well, and he would always be publicly humiliating them, mocking their English, like as this boy the boy Chiaki, a, a Japanese boy, and Alex Jones was saying hi Chiaki to him publicly, and the other guy felt terribly self conscious or very embarrassed or. One of the Indian boys, you had to go and see your tutor once in a while. You had to wear school uniform. And um, the jokes telling him to wear uh, sports clothes was just completely the wrong thing to do. And the boy getting in trouble, and how was he supposed to know? And jokes, when he left school, he went off to, to uh, South America for a year. Well, I really hope he had a horrid, horrid experience, and people did to him what he'd done to others, as he'd so cruelly um, humiliated them. And he was always a guy who didn't scrimp on the labels. He was inclined to chubbiness when I first met him when he was 14. Um, and uh, he then... Uh, he's, he's lost a lot of weight, and then he was a male model um, in his early 20s. So uh, Misha Nonu, this is the kind of person she was attracted to, which speaks volumes about her. Now, perhaps I'm being unfair to Alex Jokes. By the way, now, now he goes by Alexander Jokes, who's got his own company, Paddle 8. He's a multimillionaire au auctioneer. Um, but obviously Jokes must be in Clover. Nonu has achieved great success in her chosen field. Is anybody listening? Why does it keep disconnecting? Hello, hello. So that's where his video ends. It was a live stream, and I think he lost uh, connection. Um, I would like to ask him if he will ever finish his thought. Um, but anyways, uh, I came across, shortly after watching that video, uh, an article um, talking about... Um, that confirmed what he had shared with us in his video. So I went back to my Twitter page and tried to look for them for you, and I found them. So go ahead and hit pause if you want to take your time to read them. And uh, definitely leave your comment below. Bye.